Friends, for the past 12 years, it has been a blessing, honor, and privilege to be your bishop here in Oklahoma. We have shared an incredible journey being the Episcopal branch of the Jesus movement in this part of God's kingdom. I now want to share that following a time of prayer, discernment, and in consultation with the presiding bishop, I have decided to announce my intention to resign as Bishop of Oklahoma and retire on January 1st, 2021. You may be wondering why I'm making this announcement two years in advance. The process to discern nominees and elect a new bishop requires a minimum of at least 18 months. It is my intention to call for the election of a bishop coadjutor. A bishop coadjutor is elected to succeed a diocesan bishop. By electing a bishop coadjutor, there will be a time of overlap for the new bishop and I to work together to ensure a smooth transition. Additionally, the Lambeth Conference, which gathers all the bishops in the Anglican Communion once every 10 years, is scheduled for July 2020. Given the relationships we share with the larger Anglican Church, I believe it is important for our new bishop to attend this conference. The presiding bishop has scheduled the date of April 18, 2020 for the consecration of our new bishop. Some may be wondering why I've made this decision to retire. I will be in my 15th year as your bishop at the time of my retirement. We have accomplished much during my tenure. We are healthy spiritually, financially, and prepared to grow and develop in new and emerging ways. It is time to discern the next bishop who will lead the Diocese of Oklahoma into this new season of ministry. The responsibility for discerning bishop candidates and conducting election rests with the Standing Committee of the Diocese. The Standing Committee will be meeting with a representative of the presiding bishop's office in the next few days to begin this process. More information about the process and timeline for the election will be published soon. This time of transition is not a time where everything is placed on hold. We will continue to be focused on the programs and ministries happening throughout the diocese, in our institutions, and especially completing the expansion and renovations of St. Crispin's. As we move into this time of transition, I ask that you hold our diocese, the Standing Committee, and Debbie and I in your prayers. I want all of you to know that my time as your bishop has been the most blessed and rewarding of my life. Please know how much Debbie and I love all of you. Thank you.